living in 1900 was significantly different from the way we live today. Here are some aspects to consider if you want to imagine what it would be like to live during that time. technological advancements in 1900 were far more limited compared to today. There were no televisions, computers or smartphones. Electricity was available to some, but not all households. Transportation primarily involved horses, carriages and trains. Communication relied on telegrams, letters and landline telephones, although they were not widespread. Daily life in 1900 involved a lot more manual labor and fewer conveniences People relied on coal or wood for cooking and heating. And household tasks like washing clothes and dishes were done by hand. Access to clean water and sanitation facilities might be limited, depending on the region. Fashion trends were more formal and conservative compared to today. Men typically wore suits or formal attire. While women wore long dresses, corsets, and hats. Clothing was often custom-made or handmade, as mass production and ready-to-wear garments weren't as prevalent. Popular forms of entertainment in 1900 included attending live performances at theaters, music halls, and opera houses, reading books, playing musical instruments, and engaging in parlor games were common pastimes. Outdoor activities like picnicking, garden parties, and sports such as baseball or tennis were also popular. Gender roles were more traditional and rigidly defined in 1900. Men were often expected to be the primary breadwinners, while women were typically responsible for domestic and caregiving tasks. Women's suffrage movements and discussions on women's rights were gaining traction during this period. Education systems varied but formal schooling was generally more limited. Education beyond elementary levels was not accessible to all, particularly in rural areas. Libraries and self-study were important for those seeking further knowledge. Social norms in 1900 focused on formality and decorum. Polite behavior and good manners were highly valued, respect for authority, particularly towards elders or those of higher social status was expected. Healthcare and medical knowledge were less advanced compared to today. Access to medical care varied, and common illnesses and diseases were more prevalent. Home remedies and traditional treatments were often relied upon. It's important to acknowledge that living conditions and experiences could vary significantly depending on factors such as location, socioeconomic status, and cultural background. Imagining life in 1900 can provide a glimpse of the past and help us understand how much society has changed over time. Certainly. Here are a few more aspects to consider when imagining life in 1900. The majority of the population in 1900 was engaged in manual labor or agricultural work. Industrialization was underway and factory work in sectors such as textiles, mining, and manufacturing was becoming more common. Working conditions and labor rights were often challenging and lacked the protections we have today. Public transportation systems were becoming more developed, especially in urban areas. Trams, trolleys, and early motor vehicles were starting to appear. All the horse-drawn carriages and wagons remained the primary mode of transportation in many places. Family structures in 1900 were often larger, with extended family members living together under one roof. The roles of women within the family revolved primarily around household management and child rearing. Birth control and family planning methods were limited or non-existent, resulting in larger families. Social inequality was significant in 1900s, with the wide gap between the wealthy and the working class. Class distinctions were much more pronounced, and social mobility was limited. The opportunities and lifestyles of individuals were largely predetermined by their social standing at birth. 
Cultural norms in 1900 were shaped by values, traditions, and societal expectations. Patriarchy was prevalent, with men holding most positions of power and authority. Religious practices played a crucial role in many communities, and adherence to religious customs was often expected. The early 1900s saw the rise of exploration and adventure. Expeditions to remote parts of the world were undertaken by explorers and scientists. Air travel was in its infancy, with the first powered flight by the Wright brothers taking place in 1903. It's important to take into account the historical context of the time. The year 1900 saw significant geopolitical changes, scientific discoveries, and social movements. Events such as the Boxer Rebellion in China, the Second Boer War, and the emergence of new art movements like Art Nouveau shaped the world during this period. Remember, while imagining life in 1900 can be intriguing, it's vital to remember that this was a time very different from our own. Society and technology have undergone significant transformation since then, and progress has been made in many areas that have improved our lives today.